hello hello it is Friday which is my off day so I am of course still up kind of early it's 11 o'clock I actually woke up at like 7 this morning but went back to sleep because I've been fighting a migraine since yesterday um, which has been really crappy um, but today I am gonna kind of take you through what I do on my off day typically um, minus a few things plus a few things but um, just what I do to make sure that I'm prepped for the rest of the week um, and by off day I mean my off work day but not my off workout day um, so I will go to the gym later typically I work out in the mornings on Fridays um, but today just with dealing with migraines and everything I was not prepared to do that but um, anyway so last night um, really through yesterday I was dealing with um, this migraine that was just kicking my butt. Um, I was trying to do everything right to fix it, staying hydrated, um, getting some good food in me. I had a UCAN bar, um, just was trying to do everything I could, but sometimes the environment at Lifetime with there being lots of lights and tons of people, because it's a huge gym, um, and the music playing and the bass, as well as coaching, like I just, that environment does not work well with my body once I've started getting a headache or a migraine. Um, so I had to get through finishing coaching and then I went and got myself a burger and fries and a Coke and it was awesome. Um, and I felt a little bit better actually. I finished off my pint of Jenny's ice cream <laughs> and um, went to bed. But today I'm still not 100%. My migraine still has not gone away. Um, so I'm trying to start back with getting the good things back in my body so I'm gonna go over what that is first so I'm drinking a shake out of my lovely Terrapin uh, beer mug um, or beer glass um, but I'm gonna show you what's in that so first up is almond breeze almond milk I do the unsweetened original um, almond milk um, here are your nutrition facts on it I don't measure out how much I do to be honest I just pour until it looks like it's a lot um, so that it tastes more like something I can drink versus like a thick milkshake because I don't like when it's like that. Um, but as far as what's actually in it, almond milk, it's got a couple of other things going on, um, but nothing crazy and your sugars are zero. That's the big thing right now for me that I'm trying to avoid is lots of sugar. I'm knocking stuff over as I go. Um, so that's the base that I use. Um, then I'm using this Vegan Max Vegan Vanilla Protein Powder. Um, I'm not vegan, I just decided to give it a try um, and I've just kind of stuck with it ever since. Um, I think it sits well for most people as far as if you have digestion issues, vegan is kind of the way to go. Um, because we don't actually need that, you know, whey product um, to be our source. So. You can use something like vegan protein if you have issues with protein shakes bothering you digestive wise. Um, so here's your calories per serving. A serving is two scoops for my shake. I only do one um, just because it ends up being too much and I don't end up finishing it so I was just wasting it. Um, you can see there's one gram of sugar which is not too big of a deal. It's coming from stevia extract um, so I can handle that. Some people I know have issues with stevia but for me it works well. Um, then I throw in some spinach. Um, this is just bag and Trader Joe's. This is the end that I'm throwing away because it's gross already after a week. So one thing with Trader Joe's, their bags of spinach typically do not stay fresh very long. It's like they've already been out there. You see it says used by April 29th. That is for sure. You can see the very bottom is gross. Um, so I'll throw in some greens. You do not taste it at all. It's just a way for me to get some more greens in. Um, next thing I put in it is life greens. So this is a way to get some extra greens in if you are not good at it. I started with just this and then had a friend say, why aren't you putting real greens into your shake? Which is what I did. So I decided to start putting spinach in. Um, but I still put this in there as well. Um, I do the mixed berry flavor so it gives it a little bit of kind of a sweetness to the shake. Um, let's see, nutrition, digestion, immunity. So it's plant-based. Um, it's got some fiber, it's got all the good things you need. So here is your breakdown, there is some sugar in it. I don't even know what that's from to be honest. But let's see, you've got this huge list of vegetable anti antioxidant blend from like a thousand different types of veggies. You've got a fruit antioxidant blend, oh, that's where the sugar is coming from. 
um, tons of different fruits, okay? Um, you've also got some digestive support, which is awesome. So you're getting some fiber in already to start your day. Uh, most people aren't getting in enough fiber and they take a fiber supplement, but you can do it if you just take your greens, which is nice. You don't have to do it separately and it tastes disgusting usually. Um, and then you've got some probiotics as well. Um, I'm gonna start incorporating a probiotic supplement on top of this, but I haven't been doing that lately, but I have been getting some in through this. And then there's a little bit of extra fiber blend too, with your oat fiber and chicory root fiber, whatever that is, but it works well. Um, again, it doesn't taste like greens, it tastes like berries. I used to actually drink this by itself um, and had no issues just mixing it with water and people always thought it was gross looking, but um, it tastes good enough that you can drink it by itself. So if you just wanted to get an extra serving in of greens later in your day, you could do that too. Okay, so last thing of all of these things is the kind of stuff that I put in to make it taste good. So we all need a little bit of something, okay? Um, so these things are great. These are healthy. Um, the last couple things I add, peanut butter. Okay, so I put some Jif creamy peanut butter in it. Yes, I could do almond butter and that would make it taste better. Um, I'm sorry, not make it taste better. It would make it be better for you, right? Um, but this is the worst thing I would say in my shake is this and my honey, okay? This honey is from one of my friend's parents' bees. So it's like fresh from the source of this cute little apiary in South Carolina. Um, this obviously has some sugar in it, duh. It's honey, okay? Um, so this is your big source of sugar, 16 grams, oh, it's a whole lot, um, but that's what I use natural honey um, to make it sweet. So I'm okay with doing that because it's from some real bees, straight from the source, not that big of a deal, okay? Again, and the Jif creamy peanut butter, here are your nutrition facts on it. Yes, there's three grams of sugar. Not that big of a deal though, I'm not freaking myself out over it. If you would like to get a better source of um, peanut butter, and because you want peanut butter versus almond butter, or whatever, you can use any other source, um, but you can see that it's got peanuts, a little bit of sugar, some molasses, some salt, okay? That's, that's the usual for any kind of peanut butter. Um, you can find some that specifically have just peanuts as your ingredient. Usually it will be separated in the jar if you get that kind. It'll have like a different layer at the top. Um, so I, when I do that, usually keep it in the fridge and then I mix it before doing it. Um, but I bought the giant things of this at Costco or whatever, like a couple months ago. Um, I'm on my second jar of it because I use a scoop of this every time in there. Um, and it was just easier to grab the giant things of peanut butter. So you can switch this out again for something healthier if you want to, um, but whatever, it's peanut butter and I like it. So, so that's my morning shake. Um, the other thing I'll sometimes add to it is this generation you can, you could do that instead of the honey or with the honey, whatever you want to do. Um, so generation you can, it is this delicious powder that this is cinnamon flavored, hence the color cinnamon delight. Um, you can is a super starch that was basically created um, to give you the carbs without giving you an insulin spike, which is super cool. Um, we sell it at Lifetime. You can get it online too, or if you want to reach out to me, I can give you a code to get it for a little bit cheaper. Um, but it's super awesome. Um, most people don't have issues with it, but it's just a powder. Um, we also have bars and those are my favorite snack too. I'll talk about those later. Um, but yeah, so I add this in as just another scoop and it gives it a good flavor of cinnamon, it especially works well with doing um, unsweetened almond milk and vanilla protein. So it makes it taste good too. Um, so yeah, so it's super basic, but you get, you know, this serving of greens, some spinach in, you get some protein in, you get some fats in. Um, a little bit extra carbs there, so it's a great way to start off your day.